everyone! Welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I am doing a tradition here on this channel. Uh, about three years ago I started my American Girl channel and one of the first videos I posted was an all my dolls video. Keeping up with that tradition I do this every year around Christmas time or the new year and I show you every doll I have and kind of the backstory about him or her um, and why they are special to me. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting with the doll that started it all, it is my Maybelline girl, Taryn, and I got her for my eighth birthday in 2008. And I originally found out about them in 2007 around Christmas time, and we received the catalog way too close to Christmas time, so I didn't have enough time to ask for her for Christmas. But I, my birthday was in March, luckily, so I asked for her for my birthday, and she's the best birthday gift I have ever received. She is phenomenal. She's a little bit in rough shape. She has lots of scratches on her face and her leg is almost falling off. Um, and her hair is in really rough shape, but I think that just demonstrates how much I loved and cared for her. And she's still in my collection. I know I could send her to the Maple Leaf Spa, but um, I don't think I will be doing that ever because she's just so special to me. Next we have my first American Girl doll, and that is my Just Like You 3, uh, which I called Kirsten for many years because I thought she was a Kirsten because I found her on eBay for a really good deal. And the two dolls that I really wanted when I first started getting into American Girl was Kirsten and Felicity or Elizabeth. So those were the three that I was looking for when I wanted my first American Girl doll. And that was with money that I had received for my 10th birthday. Uh, Kirsten, well, this is now named Alice after Alice in Wonderland because I have a proper Kirsten in my collection. And I used to play with this doll all the time, calling her Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, even making my own little movie of Alice in Wonderland, like an American Girl kind of stop motion. So, I uh, love her. She is so cute, and she's actually in really great condition for being my second doll. Now we have my third doll, which I received for my birthday in 2011, and that is Samantha. I love my Samantha so much. I was so excited to receive her. I received her and some of her outfits, and she was retired at the time, same as Kirsten, and I was just so excited to get her, and my family remembers her the most, probably, because I was the most excited for her. Uh, there's a video of me being way too excited to receive my Samantha uh, for my 11th birthday. Next we have Emily. And Emily I also bought in 2011 and she's super special to me because she's the first American Girl doll that I bought with my own money. I saved up all summer doing lemonade stands, garage sales, extra chores around the house, saving like money that I found just lying around like on the streets and just things like that. And I saved up all summer to get Emily and some of her accessories and I am so... Uh, happy that I got her. I really liked her as a kid because she was an American Girl doll that wasn't originally from America. She or she was from England and she was planning on going back to England so I thought that was so cool and I love her. She is so cute. One of my favorite dolls in my collection. Next we have Marie Grace and Marie Grace I received for Christmas in 2011 and 2011 was a big year for me because I got three dolls and I remember just being so thankful for that when I was a kid. It was crazy. I got Mary Grace and the reason I like Mary Grace is because she was the new doll and she had blue eyes and brown hair and I had blue eyes and brown hair and so to me she was like a look-alike doll even though we don't have the same face mold and more of a classic face mold and I have like really really curly hair. So she's definitely not my look-alike anymore but at the time I thought I should get her because she's the closest historical that looks like me. And um, yeah, I, I don't know if there's any historicals that have brown hair and blue eyes now that I think about it. I think she, she might be it. I don't know. Because there's Molly with gray eyes, but that's different. Anyways, that's Mary Grace, and she's kind of the star of my channel, and she's my profile picture, and she does Mary Grace Spills the Tea, and I just love her so much. She is like my favorite historical character ever.
So in 2012, I didn't receive any dolls, but in 2013, I had received two dolls, and that would be it for my childhood dolls. So the last two dolls that I got in my childhood, uh, first is Sage, and I did the same thing I did with Emily, and I saved up all summer, and we were planning a family vacation to Washington, D.C., and Tennessee, and we decided to stop at the American Girl Store Washington, D.C., and I got Sage because she was my lookalike doll at the time, much more like my lookalike compared to uh, Marie Grace. And she's probably the doll that looks the most like me out of any doll that American Girl has released. Um, blue eyes, freckles, the classic mold, and I did have brown hair that was a little bit red back then, but now if you've seen videos of me, my hair has gotten really, really dark in the last few years. So it's almost like a black color. So Sage so isn't really my look like doll anymore, but she was when I was a kid. And she is so cute and that's why she has glasses because I have glasses. The last doll that I received as a kid was for Christmas in 2013 and I was 13 years old. And my mom's like, you're not getting any more dolls. And I was kind of sad, but then I started high school and I wanted to be like the cool kids. So I stopped collecting in high school which I don't necessarily know if I regret because I you know I would have gotten bullied a lot in high school for it and I definitely wasn't strong enough to handle that bullying. Um, so I don't regret not collecting in high school, um, but it does kind of make me sad that I missed out on some dolls and things like that. Um, but Caroline was the last doll that I got for, uh, for Christmas and as a child from my parents and I really liked her because she was from the War of 1812 which was a battle between, or not a battle, a war between England, well Canada and the United States but it wasn't Canada yet. So I really liked her because we live around the same, or we did live around the same area um, that our story takes place. So um, she's really special to me for that reason. Okay, so that's it for the dolls that I received as a child. And moving on to 2019, I received two dolls, and I say by accident. And it was because I found these dolls. It was a Kirsten and a Just Like You 20. And what happened was I saw them for $50 with for the two dolls and an Our Generation doll, and I was planning on reselling them. And it never worked out, and I kept trying to resell them, and I kept on getting like weird people messaging me. So I just eventually took them down, and I was just annoying me. And now they're in my collection as Kirsten and Marta, and I'm so glad I didn't sell them. And they're just um, so cute, and I love them. And just like you, 20 is a very uh, rare doll, apparently. She's hard to find. Um, so I'm glad she's in my collection for that reason. Next we have Cecile, and Cecile was the first doll that I bought on purpose as an adult in uh, May of 2020. And the reason I wanted Cecile is because I wanted Cecile and Nelly. Those were my two dolls that I really, really wanted as a child and I couldn't get because they kind of retired. She, I was out of dolls when collecting. I didn't get her in time before I outgrew them. So um, I knew that Cecile and Nellie I really wanted in my collection and I used my birthday money to get her as an adult at 20 years old. So um, do I regret her in my collection? Absolutely not. She is wonderful and marvelous and I love her in my collection and I wish I used her more. Next we have Elizabeth and Elizabeth I got in August of 2020 and she is so cute and I got her for an amazing deal off of eBay and she was definitely another doll that I wanted as a kid but she was retired. I ended up finding her in really great condition with her meat outfit and for a really great price and I just love her so much and she is just such a joy to have in my collection. She is so beautiful. If you want a doll that's just absolutely stunning, I highly recommend Elizabeth. She is beautiful, girly, just so precious, and she's just amazing. Um, between Elizabeth and my next doll, Felicity, I found Ashlyn at a thrift store, and it was such a good thrift trip because I received three really cool dolls that day. I received two of my dream dolls, which were 2013 Elsa and Anna uh, from the Disney Store exclusives. And I found them at a thrift store for 99 cents. And then I found Ashlyn for 2.99 in an original Willy Wisher outfit. 
and it was just so awesome and I love Ashlyn in my collection. She is absolutely so cute. And she definitely is one of the um, smartest people in the dollhouse. Her and another doll, Jonathan, get into arguments all the time, like scientific arguments, and they argue with each other all the time, and everyone else in the room is like, what are they talking about? Because they're just, you know, talking about crazy scientific things all the time. Next we have Felicity, and Felicity I bought in December of 2020 as a Christmas gift to myself, and she came with some of her outfits and accessories and things like that, and her book set, which was really good. However, the seller didn't disclose that she had a haircut, and that wasn't good, so I had to re-wig her, so that's why her wig looks a little bit different. However, it's the exact same color as a Felicity wig, um, it's just not as nice quality. So I don't know if she's going to stay Felicity forever or if I'm going to replace her with a different Felicity, but overall, um, I am glad that she's in my collection and I do think she's really cute and childhood me would be so excited because I loved Felicity as a kid. So that is it for the dolls that I got in 2020. In 2021, for my birthday, I bought myself a Mary Ellen um, off of eBay, and she was in really good condition with all of her accessories and things like that, so I'm really excited that I got her. And Mary Ellen was a doll that I wanted even before she existed. I always wanted a 1950s doll. I used to write stories about American Girl having a 1950s doll, and it was just something that I really, like, enjoyed the idea of having a 1950s doll. I even wrote a story of her going and buying a poodle skirt with her mom, which is very similar to the story that actually happened in the American Girl um, books for Mary Ellen, even though that's historically very inaccurate. Um, it's just kind of a weird coincidence there. But um, so basically she was a dream doll of mine, um, except for my dream doll, I named her Susan. So that was going to be my dream 1950s doll was Susan. And now we got Mary Ellen. So I think maybe I should call her Susan. No, I'm going to leave it because I like leaving the dolls as the way they are. Anyways, um, that is uh, Mary Ellen. Next we have Molly. And Molly I found at a thrift store. And she was the next doll I wanted on my list. So for my birthday, I was trying to decide if I wanted a Mary Ellen or a Molly. And I ended up finding a really good Mary Ellen. So I got Mary Ellen instead. And I was planning on bidding on a Molly. And then I'm like, you know what, I'll think about it. I still have some time for the bid ends. And the next day I went to the thrift store and I found Molly. So I got her for like $8, like $7.99. So awesome. She does have bubble eye, but she is Pleasant Company. And her hair is cut, but I can put it in braids. So that's all that matters. And I got her for a really good deal. And I'm so glad that she is in my collection. And I feel so lucky that I found her. Next we have Nellie. And Nellie was my dream doll for a very, very, very long time. Since I was a kid, I really wanted Nellie. When I was asking for Samantha back in the day, I, my first choice was Nellie, but I know Nellie was harder to find. So I was so glad to have a Samantha. And Nellie is just so pretty and so gorgeous. And I definitely wish I used her more in my collection, just like Cecile, because they were like my two favorite dolls. So that's something I'm going to be doing in the new year, definitely using them more. And I'm just so happy that I have them in my collection. And I'm just so, I so I received Nellie in the summer of 2021, I believe. So... I got three dolls in 2021. Next we have Nenea, and Nenea I got off Facebook Marketplace, and I got her in 2022, either, I believe in February is when I got her. I found her for a really great price, um, and she was in really, really good condition, and you could tell the person who owned her before really loved and cared about her. And I'm just so glad that she is in my collection now. And I'm just so excited that she, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I love her. Nenea is underrated and she has a beautiful face, mold, beautiful eyes, beautiful hair. Absolutely stunning and gorgeous. If you want a unique doll in your collection that is just so beautiful, I would highly recommend Nenea. Next we have Jonathan, and he's my Just Like You 77, or Truly Me number 77, and his, he is named after Jonathan from Dracula, which is one of my favorite books, or one of my favorite stories, I should say. I just really love the story, and I love different versions and seeing different versions of Dracula that people come up with. 
Um, and so I named him Jonathan. And any doll that is a um, custom of mine or like a truly me that I made a historical. So like Alice from Alice in Wonderland and you'll see Diana from Anne Green Gables. They are um, time travelers. So they um, travel to time. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. So I have some story and I'm thinking about making maybe a movie about the whole shebang. But basically they go back in time and live out the story that they're named after. Um, so that's kind of the backstory. So we have, uh, so Jonathan and Alice, they're from the future, but then they get sucked into the past. So that's why they kind of wear historical clothes, but then also modern clothes at the same time because they're part of both worlds. Um, but Jonathan, I got on sale from Chapters in Indigo. He was on there for months. I was, he was on sale um, in June for Father's Day and I didn't get him. And then I went back at Christmas when I had Christmas money and he was still there. So I decided to get him and he hadn't gone down in price, or at least that's what the sticker said. And then I brought him up to the cash and they're like, he's 50% off. So I got him for like $70 compared to like 150. I got him and one of the boy doll outfits, the Christmas outfit that looks kind of like uh, vintage. So he is like my little vintage or historical boy doll. And I really like him and he's such a joy and I love him in my collection. Next we have Clara. And Clara is another one that stumps me because technically she should be a time traveler too because she is named after the Nutcracker. Um, so... Yeah, so I guess she's part of the Time Travelers too, but I always forget that. But anyway, she's a Maple Lee doll that I found at a thrift store. And she is just so cute and I love her so much. Um, she's apparently a first edition of the Maple Lee Friends from 2016. And I had to rewig her because her hair was like terribly cut. So I bought a new wig off of Amazon. So she's this really unique curly wig and she makes a unique doll in my collection. Her and Jonathan are some of my um, fan favorites in my collection, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. A lot of people compliment me on either Jonathan or Clara um, because they, they love them both. Um, so that's really cool and I really like um, Clara. Next we have Bridget, and Bridget is a Hearts for Hearts doll that I got from the thrift store, and I use her as a little sister for Samantha and Nellie. So she's named after Bridget and Jenny from Samantha and Nellie's stories, and then I also have a Jenny who is also a Hearts for Hearts doll, but she is later. Um, and I got her for a few dollars at the thrift store, and she is wearing porcelain doll clothes. So all the Welly Wishers are wearing porcelain doll clothes that I got from the thrift store and that's why they're all dressed in Victorian kind of fashion. Next we have Kaya, and Kaya is super special to me because Kaya was the first doll that I bought with YouTube money, um, and I couldn't have done it without all of you, and she's just so special for that reason. I got her off of eBay, and she's just so cute and adorable, and I highly recommend Kaya if you want a unique doll in your collection. I feel like she is not talked about enough. She is just absolutely stunning and gorgeous, and just one of the most beautiful dolls from American Girl, in my opinion. So if you want a really beautiful doll, I highly recommend Kaya. Um, she's just so cute. Next we have Diana, who is a Just Like You 40 that I rescued from the thrift store, and I got her very shortly after I found or bought Kaya um, and I love her so much I got her for like $4 uh, because her hand is a little bit chewed up and she is Diana after Anna Green Gables however I thought about changing her name to Ivy because Ivy's are so hard to find um, on the secondhand market like Julie's best friend and I don't like Ivy's haircut so this doll has short black hair and so I thought about just naming her Ivy and then just getting another doll with black curly hair. That's the Jess mold, uh, like number, I wanna say number 80, or was it 84? I can't remember. Um, and of course they changed it now with the new Truly Me's. But I, th I, I wanted that doll to be my Diana and maybe I'll just buy her cause she's absolutely gorgeous. And then I'll have this one as Ivy. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous about calling her Ivy because I'm afraid people are gonna be like, that's not an actual Ivy. And I'm like, but I don't want an actual Ivy. I want all the historical characters, but I just don't like Ivy's haircut at all. Um, so let me know in the comments 
section below, what should I do? Should I take this doll, re-wig her, put a black curly wig on it, and then spend a lot of money on an Ivy, which I don't really like the wig for, or should I call this one Ivy and get another doll for Diana? Leave it in the comment section below. Next we have Claudie, and I got Claudie in December of 2022, along with Yvette. So I guess I should probably shift this to include them both. So we have Claudie and Yvette, and they are so cute. And I got them at the same time, and they're so adorable. I love Yvette, and I love Claudie. Both their curls and their hair is absolutely so amazing. I highly recommend both of them to anyone who is interested in them, especially Yvette, because she is slowly retiring. And... Um, I just love them both and they're so unique in their own unique ways and like Claudia has her unique face mold and that painted on eyelashes and Yvette has her beautiful hair and her freckles and just so cute. I love them both. So um, that is Claudia and Yvette and those are the two that I got, uh, the last two that I got in 2022. So this itty bitty baby, also known as a caring for baby, um, named after the caring for baby set, like the babysitting set from American Girl, I got this bitty baby off of eBay, and it got lost in the mail, so they sent me a new one. So I ended up, it, I ended up waiting like five months for this doll, but I think I finally received her in. Um, 2023 at the beginning of the year and her name is baby Olivia and I don't use her enough and she is so adorable and so cute. Next we have Josefina and Josefina I bought for my birthday in 2023 and I love her. She is so cute and she was definitely a dream doll of mine for a long time ever since I was a kid. Shortly after I found Josefina I was able to find Grace, another one of my dream dolls for a long long time. I love her Paris aesthetic. I love Paris so much and I might be going to Paris soon but I don't want to speak about it too soon and um, I just love um, Grace. She's just gorgeous, beautiful gorgeous doll. She looks good in anything and if you're able to find her for a great price, I highly recommend you get her. Um, she's just so cute and adorable. Next we have Maritza and Makena. And Maritza and Makena, I was so worried that they were going to retire them because what happened was, is there was the sale on them and they were like 20% off and they said limited quantities. So I was so scared. So I bought them off of American Girl and I probably spend with the conversion rate and all that the same that you would get a brand new doll but I felt like I had to get them because they weren't on the Chapters Indigo website anymore and that really stressed me out. Um, but they're in my collection now and I bought them from AmericanGirl.com so I'm glad that I had that experience of buying directly from American Girl. But they're so cute. I love them both. I love having the complete World by Us collection and I'm just so glad that they're both in my collection and they're so gorgeous and I highly recommend both of them or all three of them if you include Yvette for the world by us um if if you want them please get them because they are such a joy and so gorgeous and so unique. Next we have Willa and Willa is a welly wisher that I rescued from the thrift store who has a haircut um and I'm not able to find a wig to replace it but I think it's kind of cute this length and I don't know if she's actually going to be Willa or if I'm going to change her name to something else, like another little sibling for one of the other dolls. Um, but she's just so cute and I love her. Her eyes are kind of interesting. They're like an orange color. Um, but it's still like really, really cute. Like maybe brown, even though I think Willa's supposed to have green eyes or something like that. I think they got faded with time, but overall so cute. Um, and I got her for a few dollars from the thrift store, so I can't complain. These three dolls I got at the same time, and these are Maple Lee dolls, and I got them for a really great price at, off of uh, Facebook, like a Facebook buy sell group. And I have Brienne, who is in the pink with the blonde hair. We have Jenna with the red hair, and we have Sila in the tiara. So they are so cute. I love having them in my collection. I'd love to have all the Maple Lee girls. Um, eventually at some point, especially Leonie, I've always loved Leonie ever since she was released, who is the French doll. Um, but I love them so much and I'm so glad they're in my collection 
and now that I'm able to post more maple stuff because I have more maple dolls. Next we have Cubby, and Cubby was a dream doll of mine. I literally made a video about my dream girl year, and it was a theater kid, and then a girl released a theater kid, Cubby, and I'm so excited that she is in my collection, and she's just so cute. I would love to get her best friend, Sophie, considering my name is Sophia, so um, American Girl in the animation used um, a Truly Me as Sophie as her best friend, so I want to get that Truly Me and name her Sophie, and then I can have two best friends that are obsessed with theater, but we're just going to have to see how it goes. But Covey is one of my favorites because she has the Murray Grace face mold, and she's a theater kid, just like me. This is my newest doll, Courtney, and I bought her totally on impulse. She was on sale for like a 30% off or something from Chapters Indigo, and I got her for a really great price and totally impulsive, but I'm so glad that she's in my collection because she has those beautiful curls and she's just absolutely gorgeous and stunning. I'm just, I love her so much. So, um, highly recommend Courtney if you want a doll that is unique because her hair is just so cute and adorable. Next we have three dolls that I got in 2023. And we have Jenny, who's a Hearts for Hearts doll that has blonde hair, and she is, you know, part of Bridget and Jenny. So now I have Samantha, Nellie, Bridget, and Jenny, and that is just so happy and exciting to me that I have, like, the full sister set for Samantha and Nellie's stories. And then we have an unnamed doll here. I'm thinking of just giving her a random name. I wanted to make her, like, Kaya's little sister or Josefina's little sister, but I couldn't come up with a character name based on their stories. Um, but I don't know. If you have any ideas, leave it in the comment section below. Next we have Emerson, and she's wearing the pink there, and she is another Welly Wisher I rescued from the thrift store, and I'm so glad that I was able to find some Welly Wishers from the thrift store, and I didn't even find, like, a repeat. Even if I found a repeat, like, if I found another Ashland or something like that, I would totally get them 100%, even if I was at the thrift store and I found another doll that I had, doesn't matter, any American girl, doesn't even matter if she's, like, my least favorite character, I'm 100% getting her. Same thing with Maple Lee. Um, in any condition, if they're not a ridiculous price, because I did find a Maple Leaf Terran for forty dollars, and I'm like, I can get it for less on Facebook Marketplace. I'm not spending forty dollars on a Maple Leaf doll at a thrift store. No. Um, so if it's a reasonable price at a thrift store, like under twenty dollars or something like that, or under like twenty five, thirty, I would get it any doll regardless. So that has been all my dolls for the end of 2023 and you're probably going to be watching this in 2024 so happy new year. Uh, I hope this year you uh, receive a lot of dolls or maybe whatever your doll collecting goal is. So maybe you want to get more clothes. Hopefully that all works out for you. Um, and yeah just uh, I wish you a happy new year. Make sure to subscribe for my channel for more doll collecting videos. Also make sure to follow my Instagram and my TikTok. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.